I'm fairly sure I've pinned down the location of the project. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived intact or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work if it were discovered by the Combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm gonna cut this short. We may have been spotted. Move, move, move! I should have never let her go. There was no stopping her, coach. Wait a moment. There's something else here. It's the Borealis. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Incredible! What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh, yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished, with all hands, even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you ever- Use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Hasn't Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes, there is always a risk, coach. <sighs> but my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Zoe to hide it all in the carrier wave. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, they'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure. I they... won't take that chance. I'm going after her. Coach! Shit, Coach! The only thing worse than Zoe falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Lewis, Coach. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Lewis, where the fuck are you? Why isn't the fucking decoding finished? Shit, the code. Yes, Magnuson, it just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the fucking Combines, go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry it along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Coach, are you okay? Not again. I, I can't let it happen again. Not another Black Mesa. Coach, prepare for a cheeseburger apocalypse. Whoa! <coughs> Coach! You okay? Don't worry, let's just get you up. You scared the shit out of me. Hey. I'm all right. Thanks. I'm cool. Okay. Do you need anything? Um... Actually, Ro, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, keep an eye on him. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. You can always count on you, Ro. Cheeseburger apocalypse. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You were on your way to the test chamber, and he whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. I shouldn't have had this lunch break, but... I should have helped Lewis. to hell that day. And now, now he's using Rochelle. 
putting words in her mouth. God damn! I should have known when he rescued her it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance to... <laughs> Here you go. Is everything all right? It's all good. All right, people. Change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those fucking striders are... Oh. Oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more fucking convenient. It's all right. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me. Quickly. We can continue our discussion later, Gordon. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Bro. Yes, Coach? I'm hungry. Freeman, Striders are coming. A single one of those fucking things could shoot down our rocket. Don't dare launch until all fucking Striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest, and this ingenious new weapon of mine, in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. I can. Uh, what it is do this. is a sort of sticky bomb, although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull, then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have fucking time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through fucking delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. Go ahead and take the device out of the fucking dispenser. Now you'll want to use your gravity gun to throw it. That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the strike. I'm going to remain silent. As you can see, the Magnusons are fragile. They will disintegrate immediately if they miss their fucking target. Aim for the carapace. Carapace, Freeman. The fucking Carapace, Freeman! I think we're fucked. Three thousand whoop who's later. Had enough? Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean. Involving a certain fucking microwave casserole. Hey, Dr. Freeman, over here. I've taken a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. 
I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. Now check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. Rest of the gang's up north by the old sawmill, here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. You'll find the sawmill at the far end of the valley. Hello! The boss wants to talk to you. Later that same evening. That's it for now. Good going! Wow, Gordon. You were amazing out there. This way. The port is close to opening, but Dr. Magnuson sure will be in time to stop it. Flight alignment complete. Tracking beacon. Now there's another bit of crap we can ignore. Support equipment power down. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my rocket. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit-chat. I've got a rocket to launch. <laughs> wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. Powered and ready. Check, check, check. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. Did you do that? What's this one? Flight termination system? Check leaks with backup range safety sites? Oh, well, that must be an ancient entry. There are no backup sites. If we fail, the best we can hope is that... Well, here we are again. Now, inertial navigation systems. Safety test of FTS. <laughs> While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I bet it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Wait a moment. I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Uh, well, that's with intolerance. Uh, certainly not worth We're back! Up. Finally! Hey, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes, well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this fucking meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I think Gordon should have the honor. You all hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. Only a button. Just press it. That's all I ask. Silo door is open. Stations, everyone. Power to main thrusters. Steady on. D minus ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
To celebrate, we need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium Resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you gonna see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. We'll catch up with you in a moment, baby girl. Gordon, hold up a second. Dog, there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're gonna miss it. Be right there, Ro. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done. For Rochelle, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. Come on! This is going to be good! We activated the resonator! This is it! Alright, this party is over! Yes! We got that done! I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it wasn't so critical. It's okay, Coach. We'll find Zoe and bring her back. Dog? Hey, where are you? What a nut. Don't go too far. Oh, there she is. Gassed up and ready to go. Remember to keep in constant contact. We have no idea what to expect. Don't worry, Coach. We'll be all right. I just wish all this didn't have to fall on you, Ro. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own daughter. Oh, Coach. Come on, Gordon. The chopper's waiting for us. Are you sure you have everything you need? I think so. Lewis gave us the Borealis coordinates. We'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Zoe tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. What the? Oh shit, what the hell is going on? Ah! <gasps> Coach! Rochelle! Listen to me! Destroy that ship! Whatever it takes! Destroy it! Don't! Look out! No! God damn it! Let go of him! Oh my god! No! Take care of each other! Close your eyes! No! No! Don't look! No! 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 <laughs> Gordon! <laughs> Dog! <laughs> no! Oh my god! No!
Okay. Do you need anything? I'll have two number nines. A number nine large. A number six with extra dip. A number seven. Two number 45s. One with cheese. And a large soda.